Hello learners, my name is Alok Banushali and I am from Chango Kana Thakur Arts, Commerce and Science College, New Panville Autonomous. Today my topic is Mutual Fund from Financial Accounting 7. So what is Mutual Fund? Mutual Fund is a collective investment vehicle that collects, pools money from a number of investors and invests the same in equities, bonds, government securities and money market instrument. The money collected from mutual fund scheme is invested in professional fund manager. So your, as an investor, you give your money to the professional fund manager and they invest that money in various stocks and bonds under the various schemes investment objective. The income or gain generated from the collective investment schemes are distributed proportionately amongst the investors after deducting applicable expenses. So whatever the income or gains will be generated after deducting expenses, it will be distributed proportionately to the investor in their NAV that is net asset value. In return, mutual fund charges some small fees or in the form of commissions. The combined holdings of the mutual fund are known as portfolio. Next, the history of mutual fund. So first modern investment fund was introduced, was established by Dutch Republic in the response of crisis of 1772 by the businessman Abraham van Ketwich, which formed a trust named Andrecht Macht Maggot. His aim was to provide small investors with an opportunity to diversify their investment. Then mutual fund was introduced in the United States in 1890s Early US funds were generally close-ended funds with a fixed number of shares that often traded. Then the history of mutual fund industry in India can be traced in 1963. In 1963, the launch of United Unit Trust of India by the Government of India under the Act of Parliament. In 1978, the regulatory and administrative control of UTI was transformed from the RBI to IDBI. So the controlling authority was transferred from Reserve Bank of India to Industrial Development Bank of India. The first mutual fund scheme was introduced in India by UTI was unit scheme in 1964. The features of mutual fund first is professional management. So the funds which is invested are chosen or monitored by the qualified professional who use this money to create a portfolio. That portfolio called consists of stocks, bond, money market instrument and a combination of all these. Then second is fund ownership. So investors own shares of mutual fund, not the individual secured. Mutual fund permit the investor to invest in small amount of money. So whether you invest small amounts, but you will get the shares, you will get the ownership of the shares or any debentures or any bonds. The investor in mutual fund benefit from being involved in a large pool of cash invested by other people. Diversified. Third feature is diversified investment. Mutual funds have a diversified investment portfolio which helps in minimizing the risk. So whatever the money you are invested, it will be diversified in various shares, bonds, debentures, where the risk will be diversified, will be distributed. So your risk taking ability will be reduced. Advantages of mutual fund. First is professional management. It means the mutual fund are owned, are controlled by the professionals. Second, risk diversification. Risk will be diversified by investing in various shares, debentures. Third is affordability and convenience. It is very affordable and very convenient for the investors who invest small amounts. Mutual fund can start with small amount like 500 rupees also. Then liquidity. Then liquidity comes. Liquidity means you can easily convert your shares, your mutual fund into cash. Then it is very low cost. You have to pay very low cost in entry and exit. Well regulated. It is regulated by IDBI then tax benefits. So mutual funds is also giving you tax benefit where there are some schemes which gives you benefit under ATC. Some disadvantages is first is cost. Some mutual funds cost are very high. If you invest more amount in, in more amount in mutual funds, so it will cost you more 
expenses second diversification of funds so this is our advantage also and disadvantage also how it is disadvantage if your investment is in various forms so if you get profit in one area for example we get profit of 20 percent and second area we get profit of five percent and third we get profit of ten percent so we have diversified our funds so we have missed this twenty percent amount example if you have invested five hundred year five hundred in this five hundred in third one so first you will get five hundred twenty percent that is hundred rupees in second you will get only twenty five rupees and third you will get only fifty so you have missed the opportunity to earn 100 rupees so that is the disadvantage third it is lock-in period some mutual funds have lock-in period of three years five years where you have to invest the amount in mutual fund but you don't you cannot liquidate the money then that is fluctuating returns so your returns is not fixed it will be fluctuate depending upon the market situations next how it flow mutual fund how it is flow so first we are investors invest their money investors pool their money to the fund manager fund manager takes the amount from investors and this amount which is pooled by the investor this amount is invested in various securities in share market and then it will generate the returns it will generate returns and these returns are distributed amongst the investors and again this amount is going to investors invest will investor will again invest this money and given to fund manager fund manager will again invest that money in stock market share market and generate returns so this is the flow of mutual fund which is operated next there are various types of mutual funds first on the basis of structure second on the basis of asset third on the basis of investment fourth on the basis of speciality fifth on the basis of risk so one we one we will see first on the basis of structure so in structure there are three types one is open ended mutual fund close ended mutual fund and interval funds what is open ended future mutual funds open ended mutual fund are the one that can be purchased and sold as per the need and convenience of the investor investor whenever want to purchase or sold they can easily do it they can sold at the prevailing NAV yani what is the current NAV you can sold your assets and you can uh, also purchase the NAV when there is NAV is less close ended mutual fund is bought only till the new fund offer is opened when new fund is offered to the public that time you purchase this mutual fund that is close asset mutual funds it has fixed maturity date and can be redeemed only expiry of such date third is interval fund which Breach the gap between open-ended funds and close-ended mutual fund. It's a combination of both mutual uh, open-ended mutual fund and close-ended mutual fund. Next, on the basis of asset class, there are first is equity funds. Equity fund investment means the company, the fund manager invests the money in equity shares of different company. So whatever the money is been collected through investors they are invested into equity shares of the different companies second is debt fund debt fund invest the monies of the investor in fixed income security like debentures bond and treasury bills so here the whatever the money is collected from the investor they are invested in debt security where you get fixed rate of interest here the risk is moderate very low in equity funds the risk will be more Next is money market funds. Money market fund invest in money market instrument like bonds, T-bills, commercial paper, certificate of deposits. And last is hybrid funds, which is the combination of equity mutual funds and debt mutual funds. On the basis of investment objective, there are growth funds, fixed income funds, tax saving funds, liquid funds, pension funds. Then on the basis of speciality, there are sector funds, index mutual funds, funds of funds commodity mutual fund inverse fund and last on the basis of risk low risk fund medium risk fund and high risk fund in low risk fund the investment are invested in debentures and bonds in medium risk there is hybrid mutual fund scheme taken and in high risk invested in shares market so today we have uh, learned 
what is mutual fund and what are different types of mutual fund so now i will end my lecture so thank you everyone